Well, this was the bathroom. <laughs> what a way to start this little clip. This is the room, fan room. I mean, I'm leaving it kind of a mess because my clothes were all wet. But uh, super comfortable right now in the middle of December. Was no need for air con. And we had a lovely dog, Tails. I hope she can say goodbye to me. I'm going to show what we've got here. And the view, because we sat on this balcony every day just chatting enjoying catching up with this view got the hammock over here Here for sunset. Actually, there's a little place right here that sells beers and stuff. People pay to sit out here and, and uh, watch the sunset over the mountain range. It is absolutely stunning. But we got it for free here. Two hundred thousand a night. Probably one of the cheapest places available in the city during the high season highly highly recommend it i will be back i will be back one of the coolest experiences i've had because long Bien is remarkable absolutely remarkable it uh it lives up to all the names all the accolades, everything I've seen on YouTube before, people, crazy titles to their YouTube videos about this place. It is enchanting. It is an outdoors, outdoorsy person's dream playground. Unbelievable. The plan is going up to Lung Prabang on the train. We don't want to get there late, get there during the day, find good accommodation, and we'll go from there. I have to come back here to film. Didn't do much filming. Uh, yeah. I'm going to try to film more with me and Martin though. Because that's more important to me. Just have some... Those memories. You know, he's 68. I haven't seen him in six years. Who knows when I'll see him again. Uh, even sad thinking about it. But it's just been so incredible. I've just been focusing on being present while I'm here. Dan came, his friend. And didn't even get any... F oh, I think I did get a little footage with him. So... Time to go. Here we go. Oh, I got plenty of battery. So why not film these two guys making our way to the next destination? Yeah. I didn't even get any film of tails. Man, she was the sweetest. Looked like a little fox red fur and she is just adorable but I want to film on our way out here especially going across the bridges and to our go-to breakfast spot prices can be a bit higher here a touristy city so it's not crazy honestly it's more like I do find that traveling outside of the Indian prices are a bit higher everywhere I think it's because it is challenging to transport goods around Laos and given this is a touristy city tourist destination and it's outside the Indian prices aren't too bad I mean a lot of the time even the dishes in Vientiane are like 50,000 a piece so when you're getting like uh, stir fries but if you're getting Lao food it's much cheaper in Vientiane and Lao food plus the stir fries which are I'd say more like Thai less Lao, not so much Lao food those are 
the same they're all the same prices here it's a little different still two or three bucks for a dish and you're good for a meal Wooden bridge number one. There's so much to film here. I gotta come back. I'm not going to beat myself up about it and sometimes that means you don't film I guess I, I could have taken a lot of days to sacrifice and film but it's okay it gives me reason to come back I couldn't really do a lot of hikes with these guys they're a bit older so there's lots of hikes went to a bunch of the blue lagoons ate dinner on the river before on these They'll have the long boat, long tail boat tours down the river. This is the Nam Song River, I think. I need to see what it says in, in Lao again. But it's spelt in English, kind of like that. There was days that we rented bikes. Bike rentals are fairly cheap. Around 50,000 a day, about 250 right now with the exchange rate. Motorcycles for 24 hours are 180,000, which I think that's probably the best deal that you could get. That's a better deal than just renting from for the day, 150,000, but if you rent any time of day, you have to bring it back at seven and it's still 150,000. They're not giving you like, uh, whatever, based off of how many hours you, a price based off of the hours that you rent it. So better off just to rent for 24 hours. Whew. I haven't been sweating at all the last couple of days. It's been cool, but carrying my pack here, getting warm it was even uh, for me being that I live in Vientiane and used to the hot weather it's only like maybe 80 degrees in the shade the last couple days so the blue lagoons were very chilly and all the Europeans were having a great time I think it wasn't a big deal for them, but for me and Martin, it's pretty chilly. So more, even more reason to come back during warmer weather. Now don't have to worry about that. You can come any time of year and it'll be a good time. Maybe not so much the rainy season when it's really bad, but most of the time it'll be good. All right, let's go left. One thing I noticed about the city, the, all the tourists, is that there is a lot of older folks traveling, as well as families, which is very surprising to see them all the way out here. And then a lot of young people. So, uh, Having traveled a lot of places, I guess I'd forgotten that the, the traveling crowd usually is like college age students. So that's kind of how the bars are at night. And that's how most activities is gonna be around college age students. But then you get the odd like older couple and family here and there. It's kind of nice to see. It's really cool to see that people bring their family out here and then uh, people that are, you know, over 50, 60 out here 
having an adventure. Yesterday, we helped a British couple go down into a cave they wouldn't have otherwise went into. And she kept on telling us that. And that was pretty cool to make a, a really interesting memory for her. The cave was not easy. Climbing up and down ladders and then there's a pool at the end of the cave. Yeah, we're coming back. First, let's get some breakfast and make our train on time. And then I think, like I said, I will come back here and dedicate my time to just filming and exploring. Uh, and if anybody is interested, I'd love to get into something like that. I don't know, tour guide? I'm not sure. Or maybe it's just I gave out this information on YouTube free and see where it goes. If you want details, then you can get details from me. Just have to message, in, message me or comment in the chat. But yeah, I got all the details, a lot of details, but I'd love to take folks around, you know, or at least give them the confidence to have an adventure like the British couple, Fiona. She said she wouldn't have done it. She kept on saying she wasn't going any further, but she felt confident with us. Yeah, for those that are a bit older and maybe they want somebody that speaks Lao, like myself, and can help them navigate things, let me know. I'd love to help out. Even if you're younger, but I assume the younger, they got, they, uh, they're here for the adventure. They're with a bunch of friends and, uh, you know, they'll figure it out. Limited budget. So, they gotta do it cheap, cheap, cheap. Breaking a sweat. <laughs> Gotta film the go-to breakfast spot. In case anybody else wants decent prices, this place is incredible. I'll get uh, any kind of putt is like 30, which is everywhere else is like 50. And then I'll get four eggs, you know, charge me like 5,000 an egg. So 50, way better deal. So ID. These guys are awesome. Super friendly with us. Yeah, I'd recommend this place, definitely. Where is it? It's across from Molina Bungalow. Over here. I'm not sure the name of this place. But, come by. See this big, they also do all this stuff. They've set up Tuk Tuk for us to go, go places and, yeah, it gave us a good deal on everything. It helps a lot speaking loud with them. But, uh, yeah, I'm sure you could, Figure it out with English. They're very friendly and very helpful. Martin's making it up. Martin can make it up. 68 years old, it's still going. <laughs> 68 years old? That's pretty damn good. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Right? <laughs> what are we talking about here, guys? It's like avatar shit. <laughs> Three. 
top of that mountain cliff limestone mountain thing there is a viewpoint they are all over loads of hikes we're off to blue lagoon three let's go let's see how the old man's doing back there Get fee, so about a dollar with the exchange rate going up and down all the time. It's hard to say, guys, but it's about a buck twenty. And we're pulling up to Blue Lagoon 3 here. See how busy it is today. Ooh, gravel. I read that uh, one and three are the busiest. I haven't been to one. I, we, we stopped at two. Oh, a few days ago and then we went to four way out the other direction of the city so that was cool not so many people let's see how it is oh man a little different i like how each has its own flair let's park and we'll go check it out blue lagoon three wow Really cool. I like the balance beam over here. It's different. We got a little zip line, similar to four. All that one had was a tall platform. I should have filmed it for. All right, we'll go back there. It's hard, man. You're out here having a good time and just enjoying how different and beautiful it is. I need to take a moment and film though, because memories fade, right? This is incredible. You see basically everything with this video here. That's good. There's Martin. Actually, Blue Lagoon 4 also had a rope swing as well. Oh, it looks like there might be a rope swing. There's another zip line. Balance beam. There's the raft. There was a raft in number 4 as well. The water is, as you'd expect, running off the mountain here in the shade. Very chilly. But, came here for this reason. Gotta enjoy this. Yeah, it was, and it's, the weather is perfect. It's not hot. This actually makes it so I want to come back here any time of year because the water's cool. So even if it's hot, it's going to be really refreshing. Right now, you probably got to keep swimming to stay warm. At least for me, I'm used to this hot weather and now it's, it's pretty chilly with, with no sunshine. This is the way to do it. Is there a cave down that way? Yeah. <laughs> so, hike up if you want. Cave. Yeah, me too. I 
think we might go to the cave first. Let's see if there's this cave. Heck yeah. That'll be perfect. Go to the cave, get a little exercise. Oh. What the heck? Let's look at this cave information because now I'm curious. We can go. Inside the cave is big and we walk through some beautiful slides. Oh, there's two pools in the cave that you can swim in. Uh, there's so much to explore here. If I can, the goal is to try to snag something on, some work online, and then it can spend, actually come live out here. Right now in Vientiane, I love it, but it's a city. It's not really my cup of tea. This, I feel at home out here. The mountains, I really feel at home, so we're gonna have to come back soon. <laughs> Decided that we were gonna head into this cave. The other sign said there was two pools of water. This one's showing just the one. Either way, I didn't bring my light for the camera, so I probably won't be able to film in there. And I didn't bring a torch. Usually there's people that are there at the front of the caves here in Vung Vien and you pay your 50, 20,000 most places you can get into 20,000 so a buck just like the lagoon back here and then they give you a torch actually to use I don't know if there's gonna be anybody with the torch here so I just have my phone for a torch that means I don't know if I'll be able to film but for sure when we get down to the pool I'm gonna turn my port torch on and see if we can get any, any footage because it's gonna be incredible. I mean, based off of the other caves I've been in so far, they've been like nothing I've ever seen before. So, I'm excited. Let's go watch Martin <laughs> climb this mountain. Wow. I highly recommend this Blue Lagoon because there also is another hike right next to the lagoon. You can hike up to a cave higher up on the mountain as well as a viewpoint. Shower and this guy just saying hello. 